Welcome to Making Stuff with Chris Dayhut. I'm Chris Dayhut, and today we're going to talk about um, one of the features of the Raspberry Pi Pico, uh, where it automatically runs a program upon boot up. Now, if you're familiar with the Raspberry Pis, um, it's a little bit of an involved prospect process to get that to happen, but with Arduinos and other microcontrollers, it's actually a very simple task. Now, one of the unique things about the Pico is we can put a lot of programs in the Pico, uh, so how do we pick which one we want to automatically run when it's powered up? Well, first let me show you how that looks uh, with a couple of examples here on the workbench. Over here, I've got uh, 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 an environmental logger. It uh, logs the uh, temperature and humidity. This will be uh, an upcoming project here on the channel. I turn on the power, the basic battery pack, and immediately starts running on the Pico display here. You'll see the uh, uh, bar graph showing the temperature, and you'll see a digital readout of the temperature and humidity. Over here, you may have seen this in one of my other videos. This is my clock that I use to synchronize all my cameras. And once I plug it in, you'll see that it automatically runs uh, the clock. And in both of these uh, Raspberry Pis, I'm sure I've got more than just one program in there. So let's dive into how we can make that happen, and then more importantly, how we can undo it so we can use the Pico for other applications. For this demonstration, we're going to use the Raspberry Pi Pico and use its tiny little onboard LED, which is machine pin uh, uh, GP number 25. And uh, I've got a little demo program here. It's just going to import the machine library, the time library. We're going to uh, instantiate a, a machine.pin uh, that is set up as a pin output, and we're going to assign that to an object called LED. We're going to set up an infinite loop. We'll turn the LED on for a half a second, turn it off for a quarter of a second, and then repeat. Now, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and click the arrow button so you see the behavior. And this is uh, what you're going to see when it's running. And uh, now I'm going to stop it. I'm going to unplug it, plug it back in, and you'll notice that it doesn't run. So let's make that automatically run. And it's quite simple from within the uh, Thani environment here. So I'm just going to get everything reset by uh, clicking the stop button up here. I'm going to do file save as. I'm going to save into the Raspberry Pi Pico where our current LED.py uh, program is running. That's what we see running. Well, I'm going to save as main.py. Now that's going to be very critical uh, that we have the .py and of course the word main. So we'll click OK. We'll save that. I'm going to Close the main file there, so I've got nothing here at all. You see nothing on the Thani environment. I'm going to unplug the Raspberry Pi, plug it back in, and magically it goes to work right away running the main.py program. Now we'll show you one more, just in case you're confused by that, uh, because this is the programming cable. Here's a power pack. I'm going to plug that in. Let me make sure it's turned on first. Okay, it's on. We'll plug that in. And you see the program running again right away. So we'll unplug that. Now let's say you're done with that project and you want to repurpose the Raspberry Pi Pico. So let's go back in and get into our Thani programming environment plug in our programming cable. You see right away it starts running that main.py program. So here in our environment we'll click our stop button to clear out our alarms and get things reset. And I always clear out the display there. Uh, so I'm just going to click open. Go into the Raspberry Pi Pico and I'm going to right click on main. Now uh, 
The easiest way to do this, simply delete it. Now, if you didn't save a local copy, you should. Obviously, here in our example, I've got a local copy right on the Raspberry Pi Pico, and it's called LED. So I'm going to delete the main.py. OK. Cancel. Now what we'll do, we will unplug the Pico. I'm going to plug it back in. You do not see the LED blinking, so that tells us main.py is not running because technically it does not exist. So we'll go ahead, reset our Thani environment, and we will open up Raspberry Pi, our LED program, and now we can use it for other purposes. It's truly that simple. Uh, it's just a matter of naming the program you want to run as main.py, main.py. You do that, uh, unplug or unpower the Raspberry Pi Pico, plug it back into power, and you're rocking and rolling just like that. Well, hopefully it picked up a little pointer here. Hopefully it helps you in future projects. Uh, if you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel. It certainly helps uh, secure the existence of this channel in the future, and it also helps... Uh, uh, with the motivation for me to create more uh, short videos like this one. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next video.